Perspective is the technique of drawing so that objects have the proper depth and distance. In other words, a real solid three-dimensional look. Now, perspective can be a little tricky at first, but it must be learned because a drawing done in bad perspective can make your picture look very wrong and unprofessional. So we're just going to cover a few simple rules here today. And if you'd like to continue your study of perspective, there are many good books available. All right, let's begin. All right, now I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Now this horizontal line is called a horizon line. And the horizon line is the viewer's point of view. If we were going to be showing a lot more sky, we would have that horizon line much lower. And if we were going to have uh, a lot more ground, we would do the opposite and make the horizon line much higher. Now, let's put a dot right in the center. And this dot represents where parallel lines appear to meet. Now, parallel lines never really do meet, but that's where they would appear to meet, and that is called a vanishing point. Now, let's assume we're standing and looking down a long road. And, of course, that road never really comes together, but it appears to do that in the distance. And that's where the vanishing point comes in. Now, let's draw these lines. And you see, it looks like we're looking down that road. Let's draw a couple more lines here. These represent the uh, lines in the road. That's beginning to look like a video game. Now, if we wanted to put a fence along the side of the road, or maybe telephone poles, we would use the same vanishing point. Now let's draw that line like that. Maybe another line here to where the bottom of the poles would connect. Now let's draw the telephone poles in. They'd be getting further apart as we get closer to the foreground. Now these they cross. All right, now on the other side, let's draw some lines for maybe a structure, like a hot dog stand, perhaps, along the side of the road. I'm going to draw a couple extra lines, which I'll show you what we're going to use them for in a second. Here's the bottom. All right, now let's go back over this and put in some vertical lines. Let's make it about that long. And uh, these lines will go off horizontal, like that, the side of the building. And this could be a hot dog stand now. You can use this line. Say he's got an awning. And uh, here this could be a pavement, the sidewalk. And this fellow selling hot dogs along the side of the road, using the same vanishing point. Now with one vanishing point, this is an example of one point perspective. 